it to you. It's Midori Gado. So this is a, a gold champagne. It's got gold flakes in it. <laughs> Our product is normal wines. We, we basically choose grapes that aren't as sweet. We don't add any yeast to it, so there isn't as much alcohol that's produced. Then it's fermented like normal wine. And then um, what we basically do after that is we spin the alcohol away, so it doesn't impact the body of the wine, the actual qualities of the wine. So all the aromas come through, but the alcohol is removed. Surprisingly, I have a lot of Moroccan, Turkish people who actually haven't seen the Asian side of henna. So all these designs are really new to them, so it's really attractive for them because they're just used to quite um, symmetrical lines and stuff like that. Jaguar henna is more popular because it's just a more attractive colour. Everyone's so custom to the natural orange and deep red stain, they really like the back black. It's something that started years ago, but it's not been safe because it's had hair dye in it. So we've done some research and we found that mixing the Jaguar juice with henna powder can give you this lovely black effect. It's just what, what the client wants really and we want to make sure we give them that. The halal economy is really an economy which is untapped at the moment. And this really is testament to this. Uh, this event will have over 24,000 people. No matter what colour or creed you are, it's commerce. The people are coming together to unite. Fashion shows, food, shopping, entertainment, kids zone. You don't need to be a certain religion or community to enjoy any of these aspects. And we're trying to provide a platform for Muslims and non-Muslims to be under one roof and enjoy a great family day out. Well, the main reason why I decided to go into the halal market is because I was hosting some Muslim friends. I was in a dinner party and I look around and it was basically no good halal charcuterie. So I decided to go for it and invest my time and my energy and importing only the best. It's a Muslim box for the kids, uh, looking around for their lovely clothes. It's really nice for them, really nice food stalls as well. Uh, we've come from Bradford, we've come from Yorkshire. We've come to enjoy a bit of shopping for the wife as well, as you can see. <laughs> When you see British people, they have a lot of communal things that they get involved in and stuff like that. And as a Muslim, you feel, you know, you don't really feel a part of it. But here, at least you can see everyone. You can experience good food, clothing, everything. And it's like, I think it's just really good to bring the Muslim community together.